Recorded live with little or no editing, it's Defense Up, I'm Run7. How you doing? Today we're going over Lear J's defense. We grade on five different criteria. It's who you're using, their placement, their power levels, their ISOs, and what kind of mood I'm in. We're gonna jump right into this one. Team number one is the Fantastic Four, which is anything but fantastic. It's not even four. It's actually a five-piece team. Uh, so, this is actually done pretty well. The power levels, of course, aren't stopping anything. There's no real investment in this team. However, aside from uh, going three and not four on her, uh, this is done. This is done right. So I'm gonna go a minus on this, but let's talk about it for a second um, I'm not sure that she should be a healer She can be pretty much anything you want her to be because she has no synergy with any of the ISO uh, Just make her war ready whatever you do, but don't make her war ready just yet because next month the She-Hulk uh, TV series is coming out on Disney She will probably be getting a rework and probably a different team. We are theorizing that she will either secretly go to A-Force for some unbeknownst reason. I don't know why. Uh, I mean, she does kind of belong on the A-Force team, but I don't think that's what's gonna happen. I think Cleaning Agent is right. I think she's gonna get uh, the Gamma team and with like Hulk and Red Hulk and maybe Red Hulk will be the war character for Famine or not Famine, uh, Scourge events or whatever, the Horseman. So, Something's gonna happen to She-Hulk. There's a very good chance. What happens to her, nobody knows. So don't invest in her, don't change her ISO, don't do anything until, until we know more, okay? As for the rest of the team, it's pretty much garbage. You got the right ISOs, you got a pretty good placement. I would swap Thing and Johnny. Uh, th this team's old, it's trash, it just doesn't work anymore on offense or defense with Namor. It's, it's just garbage. I really don't like it. Uh, but you're doing it right for now. Just don't invest in anything right here. Just, you know, hold the course. Okay, team number two is a Brotherhood 2.0 full team on defense. I like this team on offense. Uh, if you are going to run Pyro on this team, it's a good way to use Blob as a striker for his turn meter rewind and slows because Pyro is putting out lots of disrupts and you have a better chance of Blob actually hitting a vulnerable and a disrupt causing all those things to happen. I would like to see Juggernaut as a raider, but he's small right now, so it is good that you have him as a fortifier right now. Um, let's see, Pyro can be a striker to double tap and get uh, bleed damage off of his basic, but I would rather see him as a uh, level five skirmisher for the focus to make sure his bleeds land in the first place. Uh, also landing those disrupts and stuff like that. I like Magneto as a raider. I like Toad as a skirmisher level five to help him clear those positive effects, give him the focus that he needs. Uh, like I said, raider over here. Uh, so the ISOs are okay, but they're not optimal. Your placement is, your placement's really good. I think that's, yeah, I think that's pretty good placement. Yeah, I like it. Um, I think that, you know, you went three instead of four. So in, in war, it's either you use one ISO or four. You want them war ready or they're not worth making war ready. That's kind of where it's at. So try not to do this uh, level three ISOs. I know it gets expensive going from three to four, uh, but it's also expensive going from one to three. So uh, pick your poison there. I'm gonna give this team a B. It doesn't excite me and there's not a lot going wrong here. I would like to see this team on offense. It's not worth building, it's still old. It does have some uses if you already built it, but it's not worth building from this point on. Team number three is the Mercs with Shuri and Killmonger. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, so Killmonger is fantastic as a raider, and um, this team is old, so we don't use the traditional striker skirmisher combo off of Taskmaster anymore. Let's make Taskmaster a striker, so he's going into those vulnerables and copying and clearing those positive effects for himself. Let's get rid of these two minions who aren't big enough to do anything. If they were in teal gear, I'd be like, whoa, but they're not. That's uh, blue gear. You haven't invested in them, and they're just not worth building up. The team's pretty old. Put in somebody like Korath and Bullseye, and you don't even need to invest in them. They're just there to try and take a turn and trigger the Taskmaster to do an assist. Taskmaster will, uh, if they are skirmisher, he'll go into it as a striker and uh, do nothing. Yeah, because it's assist. He's already assisting. But when he does take his turn, there will be vulnerables on the field that he can then double tap into and steal positive effects again. So that's a pretty good thing to do. Also, Shuri and Killmonger are awesome. You may consider just investing in the Wakandans rather than this team. So uh, you can leave him the same if you want to. He does have AoEs and chain attacks and does lots of crit damage with uh, those, those big attacks, but he doesn't really have crit built into his kit. 
and I think having him double tap with his basic is better. And then these guys just aren't worth investing in. It, they just aren't. They're just not worth investing in anymore. You're not getting any value out of them at that level. Sure, he's doing all the healing. He's d giving off some deflex, I guess, if you have the right T4s in him and stuff. But I don't think it's worth it. I think you should just replace him for some speedy characters that'll trigger your Taskmaster. Or better yet, just build the Wakandans. I'm going to give you a B- minus for this team. You haven't really wasted anything. Well, you know what? You kind of did, actually. I'm going to give you a C plus for this team. I want to see some major changes on this. All right. Team number four is the Young Avengers. Here we go. This is Young Avengers done right, except for Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel needs to be off the corner. That's a big no-no. Uh, you got strikers all across. Uh, I like everything else. So placement change, probably just swap. I don't know. Swap Squirrel Girl and, and Miss Marvel would be fine. I'm going to go A minus for that one. Team number five is the Guardians of the Garbage Can with Ghost and... Vision. Now, Vision's going to give most of them defense up on spawn. That's great. I don't think there's any reason to invest in Vision any for any other reason. If you really like Vision, he should be a 1.5 skirmisher because he has a focus issue. Hopefully, he'll get reworked sometime in the future because he was a pretty cool character. But that was a long time ago. Ghost is where it's happening on this team, really. And that's why I'm not going to dock you for these weird ISOs. Uh... On the full Guardians team, it should be Skirmisher, Raider, and then Healer. But off the team, when you're running a three-piece like this, it should be Striker, Striker, Skirmisher. I would like to see you change uh, Groot to a Skirmisher to get some more vulnerables on the field. Go ahead and just leave these guys where they're at. It's not worth changing it. You're going to be adding some vulnerables to the field for uh, Ghost to double tap into, which is going to be good. That's where all your power is at on this team anyways. Who cares about the rest of these? You're getting defense up. You're getting um, vulnerables for her to attack in. And then Groot is, I don't know, he's just there to die, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I'd change him to a skirmisher anyways and see what happens. But uh, kind of a mishmash team. You're just throwing some junk in there. I'm going to give it a C plus. It's not crazy good, nor is it really. It's just not worth investing in is, is what the problem is. Team number six is the Sinister Six with Doc Ock. I hate seeing Doc Ock on his team, especially when you have all of his uh, sub cast members underdeveloped. It's a speed ramp to run this guy over. It's a waste of him. He's better on hybrids with those deflects that he gives out. I'd like to see you swap him out with somebody like Green Goblin. Um, and then uh, the team is just going to be a filler team. And then you can use Doc Ock on a bigger, better hybrid to much greater effect. As far as the ISOs go, these are fine. I'd like to see Vulture as a Raider, I guess. Um, I mean, yeah. Yeah, let's just change Vulture to a Raider. And then Green Green Goblin should be, I don't know, like a Skirmisher or a Raider, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Like I said, it's a junk filler team. But get Doc Ock off of this team. I'm going to give you a B- minus for this. This ain't stopping anybody. Uh, they're just going to come into it with a speed med and roll over it. Uh, as Guardians, ugh, this is kind of in an ugly spot. You're bordering that line where you could start using these characters elsewhere. Um, where people are going to have, you know, a 400 Axemen or a 400 Symbiotes left over, and they're going to roll over this team real easy. Uh, she's a liability on defense. So, um, <clears throat> luckily, you have her ISO set up for when she is off of the team. When you run her on the five piece, you want her as a striker for the combo that happens with her and Loki. But off the team, she's 100% Raider. I like him as a Raider off of the team also. Um, Skirmisher is great off the team. These guys uh, belong in the dumpster. So I'd like to see you take these three, use them on offense or like a hybrid. Uh, you know what you could do? You could replace Loki and Hela with Captain America and Hulk and have a mismatched Wave 1 Avenger team. Um, and these guys are still going to give Thor the charges. And then you'll have the other two as healers over there. Just don't even bother changing these ISOs. Those are wrong. They should both be Raider, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, why don't you do that? And then you can use Loki on those Eternal teams to change the who goes first. And you can use Hela with your Dark Hunters to uh, change some speed uh, matchups when you go into Young Avengers with Dark Hunters and things like that. So I just don't like them on defense. Um, otherwise, I mean, because you didn't waste it for what you should be doing at this point, I'm not going to grade you too harshly. I don't think you should change those. I just want to see you break this team up and do something completely different. And so I'm going to give you a B minus for that. Team number eight is the Amarauders. Hmm. It's kind of tricky here. Okay, so 
Fortifier on Strife isn't going to do him any good now. Since the rework, he does everything all on his own, so Fortifier is a total waste. But I'm not docking people for doing that because we were recommending it for a long time. Uh, now you can go Healer or Skirmisher. Man, I'm really losing my voice still. Healer's all over the place. You got Raider over here, which isn't doing a lot. Just crit damage, I guess, and getting some vulnerables on the field. No Strikers, though. I'd leave everything the way it is. Leave everything the way it is, and eventually you're going to replace Minerva with Madeline Pryor. What's going to happen here is people are going to come into this team and underestimate Emma. You know, they're going to underestimate this power level, not realize that it's all in Emma. And then she's going to be the only person left, and they're not going to be able to kill her, and it'll time out. So it might actually work the way it is. Don't make any changes here. Do build up Madeline Pryor. Uh, if you have some spare materials gold ions all that stuff you could build this team up um probably gonna change this iso you could consider changing her to a skirmisher or you could leave her as a raider it'll work leave it the way it is i'm gonna go b plus it needs a lot of work to really be effective but it's probably gonna net you some combat cancels all right team number nine here is the Surfer in Humans with Coulson. Coulson ain't doing you any favors here. You should switch Coulson over to a Raider. At least he'll crit on his opening move and leave some vulnerables for Black Bolt to go into. Um, otherwise, build Coulson up so he survives long enough to do his striker, basic assist, combo, triple attack, whatever, into those vulnerables and rewind some turn meter. So either switch him or build him. This is a great team though, and I like all the rest of your ISOs and your placement and all that. So switch him or build him, I'm gonna give you an A- minus for that. 10 is the Heroes for Hire. Everything going right. I would like to see him as a skirmisher, but everybody's got him as a healer. We all did that before the counters came out. And so I don't think it's really worth changing him. Um, a lot of people are swatching him, swapping him out for like uh, Dormammu or something like that weird trying some different things because Dormammu gives them an extra revive on top of their charges so uh, yeah but you know you got a big built up Shang-Chi he's tricking people and going through and deleting them anyway I like this team it's fine just the way it is I'm going to give you an A for that team good job this has been Lear J's defense up if you like what you saw hit that like button subscribe for more daily content almost daily content I'm trying my best and remember guys don't just have a good game be good to yourselves and others too and I will catch you next time bye